Welcome, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, which means for you this could resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, but even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the collective Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, um, strong Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, I mean, we have a little bit of earth, have a little bit of fire too, but I think that this could be a situation here. Someone's trying to think about their future and they're feeling kind of distant from a person. Like there could be some kind of like physical or emotional blockage here. Things have just been really unbalanced between you and this person. You can feel like you've given a lot more or they haven't been as consistent. For some of you, I mean, it could be that maybe you fear this connection is like slipping away or ending or something. Something has changed. Tell me what's going on here, please, for the collective Taurus. Let me get an idea of what's going on here, please. on here please for the collective Taurus we have coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship what is going on here please kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love what is going on here stabbed in the back heartbreak heartbreak pain separation deception or shocking attack Okay, and the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, or changed mind. And then under the deck, they'll say separation, which says sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, but also unsure of the future. Okay, so what I'm gathering from this situation is you and this person may have disconnected. Um, now, for some of you, you could be kind of like moving on, you know, taking care of yourself, looking good. You know, kind of step it into your power, step it into your confidence with that Queen of Wands energy. But it's like now that you're kind of like focused on you, like you have like this opportunity to kind of renew something from the past. It's like you have a choice to make. You're thinking about the future, long term, what's ahead, what's to come. What path should you take? Do you want to revisit this? I think you kind of knew this person would kind of come back around trying to reconcile the situation. They definitely hurt you at some point in the past. Heartbreak, separation, you know, you did, maybe you didn't expect it for some of you. Maybe this person just ghosted you randomly or disappeared, you know, missing you, thinking about you. And now we have, you know, all of this, you know, new phase, rekindle, renew. They've changed their mind. You know, let's meet up, converse, you know, talk, you know, uplift each other, friendship, you know, unconditionally love, giving and receiving affection. This person's now coming in, showing you all the things that you wanted and needed in the past. So it's like confusing you. I feel like, you know, you're really going to stand your ground here. I think for some of you, you definitely are open to hearing from this person. But you're not going to like dismiss everything that happened before. Now some of you definitely could be thinking about or dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, I did have very strong water, strong fire, a little earth. I think what, you know, you've really reflected on is that even when you and this person were together, you know, at first it might have been great. Maybe they gave a whole lot of their time, their energy, their attention, but it didn't take long, I feel like, and you kind of recalling this back from the past and thinking, you know what, there was only this brief period of time where this person was really, you know, giving me this attention that I, I needed, I deserved. And then, like, you're recalling it back and thinking, you know, what? I, di I did typically be the one that was always reaching out. It was always me initiating contact. You know, like, it's kind of like things were really imbalanced even before. 
And so that's what really has you so in your head because you've worked so hard trying to move past this person, but you can't seem to shake like the memory, the thoughts of them. There's, you know, definitely like this very like strong, like pull, like, you know, fiery, like passionate, like magnetic desire that is there that you feel toward this person and you can't stop thinking about them. You're really in your head about it. Some of you are like very protective and very guarded here because though you still feel something for this person, you know this person is capable of giving so much more. And it's like you're reflecting back at the past and thinking that you were kind of breadcrumbed or it just wasn't fair. You know, it's not right for one person to put in all the effort while the other person kind of just comes and goes when they please. So that's what really has you kind of stuck thinking about the situation, kind of replay. Some of you could even be like replaying like uh, events over and over in your head, thinking about, you know, conversations you guys have had, you know, looking at old messages, emails, you know, that kind of thing, body language, tone of voice, way they spelt certain words, even just really replaying, analyzing all those little details. And I feel like you're very guarded and very protective here because this person put some kind of barrier here and it just wasn't fair. Like said, you got hurt in this situation. And I feel like, for some of you, like you really do want to comfort this person and, you know, you feel like also in like connecting with them, it could also soothe or comfort you. But that five of pentacles too, some of you have like this fear of like this person coming in, but it being for some kind of like selfish benefit or selfish gain. Like, will this person have really changed? Will they really have made enough progress in their life for things to be consistent or will the past keep repeating itself? I am, I mean, I am seeing this in the deck to the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So for some of you, you might, you might have felt like maybe you weren't full on chasing them, but you know, you may have felt like in the past that it was always you reaching out, you know, it was always you trying to make an effort or, you know, kind of keep things going. And that's just not fair. Some of you definitely could be thinking about a Scorpio. But with that death card there, it makes me feel like you're doing a lot of reflecting on things that have ended, things that have passed, and whether or not you want to, you know, to start things up again. Because the death is also about rebirth, transformation, change. And we see that here, you know, new phase, preparing for a union, you know, it's like, do you really want it? Is this, you know, there's a potential here to revisit this because again we see the death card but then we see the ace of pentacles for some of you you could be seeing this ending now as an opportunity for something new you know what if i fully let this go and i embrace something that's new for me something possibly really good for me but at the same time some of you are contemplating going back to visit the past again but i think that you would not be willing to compromise it's like if you know exactly what you want And things really have to be balanced. You want something stable and committed in long term. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are thinking a lot about like marriage, tradition, you know, the start of something. But something serious. You know, Pentacles is not like that energy of someone to play around. It's like not like that energy of like wanting to rush towards some kind of commitment. But you want to be certain that your time is invested wisely. And so there's that fear about revisiting the past because, you know, you don't want that cycle to keep repeating itself. I think your fear is that nothing has really changed for this person. If they haven't let you go and that they may continue to kind of go back to how things were in the past. But there's a desire that this person like I said, isn't over you because, again, you knew they would come back around, try to reconcile the situation. That's what we have here. We have the Six of Cups. We have reconciliation. We have an offer being presented to you. You're going to have to take a lot of time to sit and reflect about it because you still have feelings for this past person, even though things ended, even though it was painful. Let us see what you need to know. And again, I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust, someone that you know is going to tell you the truth. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. So this could resonate for a large collective. There could be a hundred of you, a thousand of you, more. So take what resonates and leave what does not. What is this person thinking? I want to feel that way again. Like I said, this person's not done with this situation. This person has been planning to come back around. You sensed that. You could feel it. You knew they'd come back. They can't let go. I feel you even though we are apart. This person still wants to be with you. They can't let you go. You know, um, this reminds me of a card in my personal messages deck that says... Um, 
you know, no matter how far I try to run, I still feel you with me. Yeah, I feel you even though we are apart. That's the energy that I have here. It's like this person has tried to distance themselves, tried to walk away, but they still feel connected to you. For some of you, this could be a twin flame or a soulmate. You speak to me through music. So there could be certain songs and things that you share with this person, things that remind you of this person. They could also be hearing songs, seeing synchronicities, you're hearing your name, etc. I don't react when people mention you. So for some of you, it can be that people have tried to bring you up and they pretend like, oh, I'm fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't care. You know, I'm, I've moved on. Like, it's nothing. They're too afraid to admit their feelings, to open up, to talk about them. And that's been a big problem because you needed more consistency. You needed this person to be open with their feelings. And if they can't talk to their friends and their family and admit their feelings for you, then, you know, it definitely creates a big problem because that also means, you know, will they come to you? Like, I don't think that it's a matter of this person being ashamed, but I think that this person has definite issues when it comes to emotional vulnerability. I am afraid to contact you. I regret lying to you. I can't stop thinking about you. This person hasn't gotten over you. They know they've messed up. They know they've made mistakes. I'm afraid to contact you. I'm also kind of seeing this card in my mind from the Lover's Oracle. And it says... Um, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer, you know, dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Like, I think this person's trying to rationalize everything. And they're not really listening to their heart. That's what they've been avoiding. Their feelings. But again, this person's now coming in and, like, showing you and doing and saying all things you needed them to say in the past. They've been afraid to reach out because they've been afraid of rejection. They've been afraid of being vulnerable and opening their heart. But now you have this person trying to come in, trying to move things forward, trying to show you this affection, you know, trying to start up a friendship with you and see where it can lead and see if you're open to it because they've missed you and they know they've made mistakes. But ultimately, it's going to be up to you. We see reconciliation here, but it's if you want it. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.